Montgomery County seems to be some sort of magnet for big rig wrecks. What a mess. If you're stuck in one of those big traffic jams, you just want those big wreckers to get that thing out of the way. And if you're in your own wreck, you probably could care less about the name on the tow truck that takes your car away. Are we having speeding issues while they're running to a scene? That is a problem Montgomery County is facing because there are no rules in place to limit the number of tow trucks showing up to accident scenes. But we all hate it when wreckers blow past us just rushing to get a chance for a tow. Take a look at this. One single Dodge car is disabled on Rayford Sautos Road near the Woodlands Wednesday night. And count them, 19. 19 tow trucks show up for one vehicle. And that's why the rules were changed in Montgomery County on January 1st to start using a simple rotation system, one of the largest in the country. Sounds fair, right? Everyone gets their fair turn. But now we're investigating a wreck of a different kind. And we've got companies that are 12 days into a rotation process that are talking about filing bankruptcy. I know record drivers aren't high on your popularity list, but many of those family-owned companies, they invested hundreds of thousands of dollars in those tow trucks. So we're, we got record companies that are literally falling off it. That's more lost jobs at a horrible time. We're not getting any answers. We're not getting any answers either from Montgomery County Sheriff Rand Henderson. And we've shown him exactly what doesn't smell right. From January 1st to January 19th, there were 680 tows reported in unincorporated Montgomery County. Some tow companies got to tow just one or two cars. But look at what the numbers also expose. All points wrecker, 43 tows. HMI, 36 tows. Range 3, 32 tows. How's that fair? Look a little deeper and you find a curious connection. And no, Sheriff, it's not rocket science. Former Montgomery County Constable Travis Bishop and his family, well, they seem to be sure getting a sweet deal from you. According to the Secretary of State, HMI Heavy Recovery is owned by Callie Stidham, Travis Bishop's daughter. But on the state licensing website, it shows it's owned by Dustin Rutherford, Bishop's nephew. According to the state licensing website, Range 3 is owned by Travis Bishop and Dustin Rutherford. All points wrecker, according to the state licensing board, is owned by a guy named Robbie O'Dell. But the DBA in Montgomery County was filed by Dustin Rutherford. On Rutherford's Facebook page, you can see all those all points trucks. Range 3 and HMI also link back to the same lawyer, a guy named Timothy Strickland. Both companies are listed at his home address. The Montgomery County Sheriff was required under the new ordinance to make sure there was no common ownership. There are tough penalties supposedly for breaking those rules. Yet, I'm waiting. No one's been punished. The sheriff was required to inspect all those tow trucks too. But it's been a month since we asked to see the records and so far we don't have any of them. Other tow truck operators are afraid of retaliation if they call out this apparent favoritism at work. But you know us. Folks in Montgomery County know about Travis Bishop. In 1998, a grand jury released a scathing report blasting Bishop for failing to explain how a million bucks worth of cocaine just disappeared from his evidence room. Quoting, Bishop was guilty of, at best, sloppy or inept administration. He either doesn't know what to do or doesn't care. That's a ringing endorsement. Bishop faced another grand jury for allegedly assaulting a teenager while he was constable. When he lost re-election, the new constable had to bring in the DEA and a hazmat team to clean up improperly stored chemicals from meth labs confiscated over years. Now, Mr. Bishop runs HMI Environmental, used by TxDOT to clean up hazardous chemical spills after big truck accidents. That makes sense.
It was HMI hired to clean up a big spill that shut down the East Freeway for hours last December. The bills for cleaning up those hazardous chemical spills are pricey. They can go in the millions. Usually the insurance companies pick up the tab, but every once in a while, taxpayers have to. And did you know it's just one textile inspector who signs off on the need for that hugely expensive cleanup? TxDOT is taking its sweet time showing us their records too. But in the meantime, our attention turns back to the sheriff, another veteran Montgomery County lawman. Stay tuned.